Hi, this is Fred Schultz, and I'm running for president, as many of you may have heard, as you may not have heard. Anyway, I'm a lawyer. Um, for 33 years, I've been fighting to end drug prohibition, to, end, to stop mass incarceration before it happened, or while it was just starting to happen, and to prevent it from turning into the mass slavery and torture it has today with over 2.4 million Americans in jail, at least a million of them wrongfully illegally for victimless and consensual crimes. And I'm the only candidate who believes that such victimless and consensual crimes are illegal, unconstitutional, violate our human rights and constitutional rights to do our bodies as we wish, and to be free. To not have the government kidnap us, torture us, steal our homes, our families, and enslave us, and torture us daily for years, just for, say, you know, having a different... Um, you know, a way of enjoying to celebrate things using one, one quote drug instead of another quote drug. I mean, alcohol is a very strong drug. Sugar is the most addictive and deadly drug known to mankind. As you may have heard from my videos, eight times more addictive than cocaine. I got that from Dr. Mark Hyman. I'm a big favor of. Hi, Mark. Uh, and he has been helping to keep. Um, Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton alive, thank God. So maybe if the Supreme Court uh, rules in my favor and names Hillary president, then we'll at least have a safe election and maybe we'll make it alive through the next 18 months. God willing. I'm very scared he's going to just kill most of us any second. Almost pretty sure of it, almost. Anyway, um, okay. Now today I heard about how Biden said um, that he now regrets having created mass incarceration. Well, first of all, you don't get to... I mean, so 33 years... Well, he started in 1970. That's um, 49 years too late. <laughs> and you don't get to, um, you know, cause such pro you know, mass suffering, mass stealing of our freedom and then say, oops, sorry. My bad, yeah. And also, you know, he's not saying, oh, and now we should legalize all drugs. Same with Cory Booker is now <laughs> giving Biden Biden shit, saying, you know, uh, to Biden, well, you know, you um, you helped to create these laws. Yeah, but Cory Booker was, you know, known as Mr. Broken Windows in Newark, you know, which means arrest everyone for everything. You know, arrest him first, beat him up first, ask questions later. Now he says he didn't know what his police department was doing. Yeah, he did. And he knew exactly what this was leading to. He knew it was mass arrest for owning drugs. He didn't believe we have human rights to do to our bodies as we wish. That's a difference between us. And he still doesn't. He still does not. And that's a difference. And I will pardon about 70 million people. We have about 80 million people with criminal records. I tend to pardon most of them, I hope. If we can only do 50 or 60, fine. We'll do what we can. Will we probably have to keep a few hundred thousand people in jail? Probably. If we can avoid it, I would love to. But it looks like we'll probably have to. But eventually, of course, we want to get to a point of no jail. How do you do that? Amazing edu free education, hopefully free college public and private, free law school, free med school, a term of the year or two of public service, and, you know, some public service every year even. But, um, you know, free housing for the homeless, free jobs for everyone. You know, we'll have infrastructure and green jobs and that kind of thing. And we'll have, you know, well, we'll be pardoning about 70 million people, hopefully, so they'll need jobs too. So we will need to create many new jobs. <laughs> But we'll guarantee jobs for everyone. And, you know, free health care, free child care. With the health care, I understand a lot of people will want to keep their insurance. So I can see going with um, the public option. And I would like to enable, though, even those doctors who are working for the government to still, you know, um, receive the highest bidder price. The problem is usually the doctors are at the beck and call of the HMOs and can barely see the patients at all. We should have minimum, I mean, maximum amount of number of patients per hour, I think. Or, um... Just pay per, um... You know, day. 
like they do in England. Um, but give the doctors the option to earn market rates, you know, for several hours a day or a few days a week. Anyway, um, I've discussed this all in the last campaign. Um, I'm going on, I know it's five minutes, but in TV, in v, in TV time, that's an eternity. I will go on later. Anyway, I'm, I was just pretty upset and shocked, not just at Biden, but at, you know, as I said, Cory Booker and Kamala Harris, you know, she laughs, oh yeah, I, I smoked weed back in the day. Yeah, while you were busting people for doing it, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. Silly me. <laughs> silly me, busting people for, for smoking weed while I was smoking weed. Yeah, silly me. <laughs> now I'm on the right side, though. <laughs> All right, enough already. Fred 2020, free the people. Woo! I won't allow them to follow us or tap us anymore either. Not for this bullshit. Down with Big Brother, Fred 2020. Love you. Thank you. See you soon. Free the slaves. Enough. Woo!